This asks Misty is from someone that's mother has told her, or him, that God is not as tolerant as society has become. And society has brainwashed itself and therefore told itself that God is for or whatever certain things that she feels God is not for. And I want to remind you that God is love. God loves everyone. God does not judge. In fact, God has said, judge not. God has also said, ye without the sin cast the first stone. But more importantly, assuming that you're talking about the sin of homosexuality, I'm going to put the scripture here. In the New Testament, when Jesus was healing people, a Roman soldier came to Jesus with his sex slave. And yes, there were slaves in the Bible. Many. And there were sex slaves. And this is an example of a homosexual sex slave for his homosexual master. And they came to Jesus together, and the master said, Please, heal my servant. And God, is, God, is, God. And God said, This is a man of God. And his sex slave, or his servant, is very important to him. I will, of course, heal you. Go and be healed. God did not say, or Jesus did not say, Go and repent and become straight. And I will heal you once you're a straight man. God did not say, <clears throat> God did not say you're living a homosexual lifestyle and that's an abomination. God said, you are a faithful servant and I will of course heal you. Please go and be healed. Because God is love. You can give your mom the scripture and tell her, look, <laughs> you know, the funny thing about the Bible, and I've done many ask mysteries about the Bible, I don't know why people always want to know about the Bible, but <clears throat> there's one scripture in the entire Bible that talks about a man laying with another man. And if you go into the Latin and the Greek roots and study what that means, it's not talking about just a man laying and having sex with another man. It's talking about a man laying with a man on the procreation altar within the house. That altar was used for procreation only. And this is when families lived together, like the grandma and grandpa and all the aunts and uncles and the grandkids all lived in the same house. And there was one little closet used for the altar of procreation. And they were saying, don't waste that space. People can be making babies in here. That's what that verse is for. But, there's a million other verses in the Bible that are, you know, pro-slavery, pro-abortion, and pro-basically anything you want. There's so many verses in the Bible you can say pro-abortion or anti-abortion, pro-slavery or anti-slavery. You can pick any verse you want in the Bible and make it pro your situation or anti your situation. And yet, the people freak out on that one verse, using it against homosexuality. And yet... Christians and pastors of churches used to use that, what, 27 verses pro-slavery and say that slavery was right back when Abraham Lincoln was president and tried to make slavery illegal. Tell your mom, most importantly, that God is love. And when two men or two women, or a man and a transgendered woman, or a transgendered man and a woman, or whatever, get together and they're forming a union with love? How is that wrong? Especially when God created us in His image. That's the real question. I don't know. Anyways, that was Ask Misty. Thanks. Bye.